Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, playing some Super Mario Odyssey while permanently crouched. Last time we made it to the final area of the story, so if you don't want spoilers at this point, seriously get out. We're going to be seeing the ending, the ending is fantastic, you don't want it spoiled, trust me. If you're still here, let's go. <laughs> so here we are, about to enter the wedding hall. There is. Cappy tells us to hurry. We don't actually have to. That's just Cappy being cute, as often she is. This is the ending of the story, and it is very exciting. You can see there's a moon up there. We'll be getting that later. Here's the wedding hall. For some reason, the inside of the wedding hall has normal gravity instead of moon gravity. I'm not sure why that is. Also, this door with the big hat on it takes multiple cap throws to open. And yeah, this cutscene looks great. <gasps> There's a whole bunch of NPCs here from the entire game. It's super cute. And they're all panicking about how the wedding is just horrible. Also, if you look at the little tables, you can see everyone's got the stupendous stew and the sparkle water and the soiree bouquet. It's, it's really cute. But also, thank goodness, <laughs> Mario's here just in time. Oh, you can see the full-size sparkle water over there too. And the stew, and there's the cake, which is from um, Chivaria. And the ring, which was taken from Costarina. Um, when we head over there, there'll be a boss fight, but I just want to chat with some people first. Yeah, yeah, I did come to save her. That's why I'm crawling around on the ground like this. <laughs> Alright. Let's go. Confrontation time. How cute Tiara is! Look at that little cutie! Uh oh, Spaghetti-o! Oh no! Cappy tries to lift us up, but she's not strong enough to do that. Which is interesting because we've spent the entire game bouncing off her head, so you'd think... I don't know, maybe she just can't do it for more than a second or something. Anyway, here we are, the final boss battle. It's very similar to the one we already did in Nimbus Arena. Oh yeah, that's super fancy, what are you talking about? He actually says different things depending on which outfit you're wearing. If you wear exactly the same outfit she's wearing, then she says it's like super classy, which is kind of cute. So I love that cutscene. <laughs> so yeah, this is very similar to the previous battle. You steal her hat, you dodge the little fireballs, make your way over there. Uh, it takes three hits as before. She has a few more attacks this time and they're a little tricky to dodge. Some of them are, anyway. This is much harder to dodge when you're not able to jump, but we are able to jump, so it's pretty easy. There you go. Then she'll send out hats again with the fake hats and stuff, just like in the first battle. Can't have Cappy fetch the hat for you like that, which is kind of cute. Uh... Uh, you can't, yeah, you can't punch the fireball ones, only the non-fiery rocks she throws at you, so you've got to watch out for that. Also, yeah, you have to jump twice to dodge those two spins, so I messed that up pretty bad. Bam! Okay, that's two out of three. We're making good progress. Uh, she's about to do the fireball attack again. There we go. 
Oops, I didn't quite dodge it right. And yeah, she has a lot more fire this time, so a lot trickier to dodge, but not impossible. Uh, then we're back to the fake hats attack, but with lots and lots of fake hats. We can get healed up because the fake hats have hearts in them. Like most, you know, final bosses, she usually does things that, you know, def def are detrimental to her own well-being, which is a foolish thing to do if you are a final boss. <laughs> also, the music here is fantastic, just, just in case anyone was wondering. I'm having a bit of trouble hitting that, because you have to hit it with Cappy, I believe, and again, Cappy is hard to throw at things that aren't in the air. There we go. Uh, it doesn't really matter too much if I take some hits here, because we will be fully healed after this battle. By fully, I mean healed to six hearts, not, not just three. And that's the boss complete. As you can see, not that tricky. Uh, even while permanently crouching, the boss is quite doable. And we've saved Peach. And I guess the bound binding band is destroyed, which is kind of sad because it was a sacred treasure of Tostarina. It does come back later, so I'm not really sure what happened there. Anyway, we've saved Peach, but this game came out after New Super Mario Bros. for the Nintendo DS. Therefore, this is not the real ending. <laughs> uh, we are about to see the real ending, and trust me, if you don't know what's going to happen next, you really want to stop watching at this point because it's fantastic. <laughs> That's right, Honeyloon Ridge begins to collapse. These moon rocks start falling down, and then the arena we're standing on falls apart, and everyone tumbles away. Hang in there, here it comes. <laughs> This is the big finale. Again, stop watching now if you don't know what's going to happen. Bowsette is not wearing a hat. We're going to put the hat on the Bowsette. Yes! I love this game so much. <laughs> This game is fantastic, oh my god. <laughs> now this is the true finale, here we go. Yes! Okay, so this part is not hard. Um, we're in a capture form, and that's unavoidable, so crouching is impossible. So this is just like the normal game. It's fantastic but it won't be any harder on this run than it otherwise would be. Uh, and it's quite easy to begin with, actually, if you know what you're doing. Which I do, because I've finished the game three times. <laughs> uh, get to punch this rock here, which looks exactly like the one at the beginning of Cascade Kingdom. I love that motif there. There it is, coupling again. And then, yep, there's a 2D section. Uh, this one we can do, and in fact have to do. Thankfully, you can't crouch as Bowser, otherwise this would be quite hard, because we would be forced to crouch. And that would make this section much harder. Yep, because I said it was easy, of course I messed it up. That's what happens. <laughs> anyway, it's, it's not long, however there are no checkpoints anywhere here, so... You have to do the entire thing again if you mess up. Thankfully, it is amazing, so it's okay. <laughs> uh, and you get healed to full health at the start as well, so it's not hugely dangerous no matter how you went in the previous part. 
which is good. You can also breathe fire by shaking the controller. I don't really bother too much with that. I think it stops you from moving, whereas a punch you keep moving. So, or claw, not really a punch. Uh, anyway, into the pipe, which breaks the other pipe because it's hilarious. Uh, dun, dun, dun. Also, the music's amazing, yes. Uh, this part you have to be quick because it's crumbling and you will fall to your demise if you aren't quick enough. It's not that tricky if you know where you're going. There we go. But that messed me up a few times on my first playthrough. Uh, there's not one of these walls to punch through. Followed by another set of walls to punch through. Followed by the best song in the game. <laughs> Once we break open this moon rock here. Yes! Smash through the blocks that go your way, yay. No time for fear, just let it all fall away. Nobody believes in me and you, just look at the way they stare. So what if we live in a walled garden? As long as I've got you, then I don't care. Kick up the wall and take the plunge. Tripping through two dimensions. Up on the moon, we'll twirl and swoon. Just lead the way. I'll throw my hat in the ring, cause you're the one. A miracle in three dimensions. Follow the brick path straight to my heart. And we'll grab the flag together, the fireworks are gonna start. And the final capture of the game. Yes! Change your running free. You'll be amazed at all that there is to see. Together we're racing for the goal, and no one can stop us now. And here's the ending cutscene, which is great. Peach is so majestic. <laughs> Look at those cute hat people. <laughs> so adorable. Now I know we'll be fine. So let's shoot for the stars and make this love really shine. <laughs> this cutscene is so silly. Peach, Peach doesn't want either of them. Because she's in love with Tiara. Leaves in me and you, just look at the way they stare. So what if we live in a walled garden? As long as I've got you, then I don't care. Kick off the wall and take the plunge. Tripping through two dimensions. Up on the moon, we'll turn swoon. Yeah, Peach is ditching them on the moon. <laughs> Because you're the one, a miracle in three dimensions. Follow the brick path straight to my heart. And we'll grab the flag together, the fireworks are gonna start. I love this game so much. Oh my gosh. Anyway, <laughs> that's the story of Super Mario Odyssey. All the way through, permanently crouching. It is possible. However, that is not the end of the game. We have 124 moons, and as you may know, there are 880 moons in this game. So, in the next video, we will be heading back to the Cap Kingdom, and seeing how many moons we can get there. And then we'll head through each kingdom in turn, and see how we go. I know some things are almost certainly impossible, but we'll be getting as many moons as we can. Also, we'll be watching this little camera roll here of all the things we didn't actually do in the game, because we skipped a bunch of stuff. 
For example, there's Tostarina by Night, which we never saw. And there's the Jaxi, which we never saw. Uh, there's an Uproot. We captured a couple of them, I think. Maybe, maybe. Anyway, the music here is really, really good too. Because it's basically the Fossil Falls theme, which is basically the game's theme. It's so good. Uh, and there's Cappy being captured by Klepto. We've got to rescue her because she's a sweetheart. There's New Donk City. There's Mario in an outfit we never actually got. You can get that in New Donk City. We probably will later on, but we haven't got it yet. There's New Donk City Festival, which we didn't do. Uh, there's Mario in swimming outfit, which we didn't get either. There's Mario in a beach outfit, which we didn't get either. <laughs> Mario playing volleyball, which we didn't do. Mario in his swimmers, which we didn't do. Uh, there's the sparkling water being saved, which we didn't do. A whole bunch of stuff that we never actually got around to. Uh, that Shavarian there is from the race course, which we never went to. <laughs> lots and lots of stuff that we didn't cover. Uh, let's see, we didn't get that outfit for the cold weather. We did capture a bunch of lava bubbles, so that one we did do. We didn't get the chef's outfit. Uh, we did do that thing with his heel. We did do the Ruined Kingdom. Uh, we did fight that dragon. <laughs> um, we did go to Bowsette's castle, so that part happened. And we did go to the moon and stop a moon wedding. We didn't get the spacesuit though. We were fine without it. <laughs> and yes, we put the hat on the Bowser. That definitely happened. I love this game. <laughs> and there's the ending. They're taking off. And there's something we haven't seen yet, but we will shortly. It's Peach's Castle. Just like in Mario 64. That's right. That's where we're going now. <laughs> oh, you're welcome Thank for playing. You so much for playing my game. Thanks, Mario. Now that we've completed the story, these moon rocks will have activated. What those do is basically, as the name implies, they're full of moons, and there's a whole bunch of extra moons everywhere that we can get. The post game in this game is gigantic. Even if we hadn't done a minimum moon run, there'll still be a whole lot of stuff we could do. Also, yes, we can go to the Mushroom Kingdom. And every shop in the game now has like, infinite power moons instead of just one. Which is weird, but it's something that this game does, I don't know. Also, we get the music list, which is really cool. And here's the ending. There we go. Well, not the ending. This is sort of, this is the start of the post-game, really. Here we are. In the Mushroom Kingdom. Wearing our normal outfit again. Mario's having a nap. This is so cute. Hooray! <laughs> Me neither, Cappy. So many hats! <laughs> This is true, there are two other places we can get to if we get enough moons, and we'll be trying to do both of them. I agree, Cappy. We're not actually going to go to Peach's Castle just yet. We're going to go over to the Odyssey. As you can see, the Mushroom Kingdom appears at the beginning of the menu. Because that's where the game started, after all. Mario was in the Mushroom Kingdom before falling off the globe and, not the globe, falling off Bowsette's airship and landing here in the Cap Kingdom. So we're going to head to the Cap Kingdom and next time we'll be looking for some moons over there. Uh, as you may remember, there was absolutely nothing in the Cap Kingdom last time. First time we went through it, basically all you can do is the story, but once you've been through it once, a whole bunch of other stuff does show up. So. There will be many, many moons to collect. There's one, for example, which we can see floating above that hat. The moons here are yellow, as you can see by looking at them. Also, yeah, that moon rock is activated, as the cutscene before in the game's ending hinted. Uh, let's see. 
So you at the beginning of the game. There are also purple coins here now, as you can see. Uh, we'll be grabbing those in the next video, though. So, that's it for now. Uh, we've completed the game and moved into the post-game. Pretty exciting. <laughs> See you later, folks. Hope you enjoyed the first part of the challenge. Because this is just the first part. There's a lot more moons to do. There's so many more hats we need to meet. <laughs> I love this game so much. It's, just, it's so beautiful. It's so good. And that song. God. Okay. Bye, guys.